A pleasant morning to you. We're glad you've chosen to join us here at Bethany.
have so much love like I did during my birthday yeah. celebration. <laughs> people just come up to me sharing, and when I'm thinking of celebrating over, people like, Brother well, Dixon handed me late money, you know. Yes. <laughs> And make you feel love. Yeah, ask somebody to care about you. But you're not saying, you know what? You know what? The devil is sneaky. Yes, Lord. See, you, 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 you learn how to celebrate the good, loving members, but you still try to harbor uh, animosity toward the negative members. Right. 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 And, and God convicted me, said, you know what? You got to, you got to learn how to love. Yeah. 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 Anybody can love the folks. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can love the folks who treat them good. Yeah. Right. You got to love the ones who cuss them out. Yeah. Yeah. You got to love the ones who give yeah. you pitch for them. Yeah. You got to love the ones who don't care about yeah. you. Yeah. Do I have a witness? So Peter, yeah. Peter Scott, he set the tone for this thing. He said, "Dear beloved, that word." What I'm about to tell you is going to be hard to you, oh, but it's good for you. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 If, you, if you speak the truth in love, in love, in love there are some truths you won't speak. Amen. <laughs> love will make you shut up. Amen. Yeah, Lord. Any smart married man knows that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to start with seeing saints, the seeing saints. Uh, Peter says, Dear beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims of fame from fleshly lusts which war against your soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles. In other words, Peter said, We need to walk in such a way so that our lives testifies for us. The way we walk speaks for us. The way we walk uh, says the word for us. Uh, because, because saints should be a righteous example for others to follow. Some people can't read. They, and they won't read the Bible. The only word they're going to see is you. Yeah. Uh, just like not only was Jesus the living word, but we should be the living word. That when you're led by the spirit, you're automatically at war with the flesh. Yeah. Right. Come on here. There's no way the wall the, the spirit and the flesh gonna get along. Amen. All right. It's like trying to it's like trying to stir up gas and fire. You can't do that. The gas causes a reaction to the fire. Yeah. Or vice versa. And when you put the two together, there's going to be some combustion. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. He says, he says, I got to understand that that any time you're trying to live by the spirit. You're gonna have a problem with the flesh. Because the flesh wars against the spirit. Y'all have to be like that. Look, 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 look at Galatians, Galatians chapter. Galatians chapter 5. Yeah, yeah, I got to do that because see some of y'all, y'all y'all done turned off and y'all let y'all know the sermon. So let me let me kind of wake you up. You see, most times when you say flesh and the lust of the flesh, first thing y'all mind go to is sexual sin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm on. I know what I'm on. Look at Galatians chapter 5. Look at verse 19. Because see, see, Paul says, he says, the fruit of the flesh. And he got a long list. And oh, don't be don't be surprised. Adultery is in that. Yeah. 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 Fornication is in that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's all, that's where y'all stop. They put a pin right there. Yeah. It's a period. But that, that's two. Now you count how many things he lists in that that passage, and see what ratio is two to what. Yeah. He says these are the fruit of the flesh: adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. 
out of adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, reviling, and such lack of which I tell you before, as I've also told you in time past. They which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It got real quiet up there. <laughs> hey, adultery, fornication, y'all got that. Uncleanness. That's a whole lot of uncleanness. You got all kinds of, of bad thinking. You got folks just think bad. Amen. I'm talking about, I ain't just talking about thinking illicitly. They think bad. Amen. People worshiping idol God. You got Y'all don't tell me about it, but y'all got y'all little crosses in your Bible. And you put bones. <laughs> y'all been calling stuff. Y'all look at y'all. Y'all horoscope. Y'all being horrified by your horoscope. Some of y'all claim you love the Lord. I love everybody but Sister So and so. He said, that's a sin. Uh, yeah, you got all kinds of uh, kind of negativism and it's kind of stuff that you all might be uh, thinking about. He said, Paul says, you got to be careful when you start thinking all this negative stuff. Give me my Bible. I want to see that. I want to read this thing out of the NIV. Oh, because y'all want to bother me. And I want to bother me. And I'm going to have to bother him all. I should have bought my glasses. <laughs> Children, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking for the <laughs> Galatians problem. That's a big deal. It don't work like that. <laughs> For you time folks don't get nervous, I'm gonna cut off the sermon for all the time. I think I know y'all got appointments and stuff. You gotta go to break it. Yeah. Yeah. Acts of the sinful nature, sexual immorality, impurity. Debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, right. hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies. Wow. Since he mentioned there that he says we've got to abstain from. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. He's not telling us to stop sinning because you have fun doing that stuff. Oh. Yeah, ooh, we got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but you find out walking with God, you find out things that you thought were fun. Ain't that much fun. Right. Right. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when they, you ask the people with that monkey pox. Oh. Yeah. They didn't, we got quiet. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't do the wrong thing for the right reason oh. and thank God going to bless it. Yeah. Right. 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 I messed up too. But, but, but you know, when you, when you do wrong, you got to expect to play pay the pipe for that. There are consequences to sin. And the consequences to sin are not good. There's a reason why God tells married men not to mess around. There's a reason why God tells us that we ought to uh, love one another and not hate each other. There's a reason that we should abstain from the things of the flesh because when I'm striving to please the flesh, 
I end up pleasing nobody. All right. All right. Yeah. It's like eating a good meal. When you eat it, it's, it's good to you. Your stomach is full. But ain't too much hungry. You're going to be hungry. I wish I had it with you. You're going to be hungry again. Yeah, yeah. Why y'all so quiet today? Yeah, yeah. He says, he says, once I understand I'm in a war and I should be led consciously, led by the Spirit. In other words, I have to make a decision that the Spirit is going to lead my life because when I allow the Spirit to lead me, He leads me in the right way. He leads me in the right path. He said, then I need to understand that saints are citizens of two countries. Yeah, yeah. Saints are citizens of two, two countries. We are citizens of God's country. All right. Uh, yes, and we are also citizens of this country. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and I need to understand, I got to get along in both countries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll talk some more about that, but he's saying, I got to understand something that, that, that you're going to have a problem with some folk in this country simply because you are from another country. Because I am a member of the kingdom of God, yeah. it's my responsibility to please God. And the things that pleases God will make the devil mad. The things that pleases God will make worldly people uncomfortable. I wish I had a minute. I didn't think you would let me run with a mouse, young teenager. Because you know I was church born and all that. You know, they, they don't really care about the fact you go to church. Because a lot of folk they run with go to church anyway. And they don't really care about you being clean and all that. They don't have a problem with that. The, the problem they have, they don't want nobody seeing them mess up who's not messing up with them. Oh, As long as I didn't see them doing something I wasn't doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and when they see you don't drink and they they drinking, hey, hey, what's up with him? Mm. I had I had uh, I had one buddy, brother Dirkson, the only way they get me in the hotel room, they had to buy me a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> but what they did, they bought me a six pack of IBC. <laughs> Root beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some of y'all know. But you folks don't know that IBC looks more like beer than beer. And they said, that's all we drink right over there. They don't know what that is. Oh, he all right, he all right, he all right. He all right. But that's the way some folks are. As long as you, as long as you doing what they're doing, you can have. Yeah. Right. So they don't want their stuff to get out. <laughs> but there's a verse somewhere that says, everything you do in the dark. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Come out. Yeah. Stuff at church, come to church. Uh -huh. My name old, old uh, 
Jackson, Charles Jackson, he's going to be with the Lord, but he had a big church there in Houston, and they, they, uh, people put it out, they put the chain on the door, and would let him in the church, they, and he said, man, people just start coming over from all over Houston, yeah. just to come see the chains on the door. And when they got when they got to church and there was no chain, they came inside. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, they, they lied on me and folk coming to see the lie, but they end up joining my church. Because once you come on the inside, uh -huh. the atmosphere is a whole lot different. Uh -huh. So you don't have to use the Houston chronicle on the inside, on the inside, they read the Bible. Uh -huh. On the inside, the choir is singing God's praise. On the inside, the Holy Spirit is in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Not only do I see seeing saints and devils, and all he said is you got to walk right. Right, your walk will make the truth the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm told you, Reverend Mario King, my daddy's mentor, says, "Don't worry about chasing a lie. You can't catch a lie because yeah. a lie runs too fast." Is on. Yes. 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 If you want to catch the light, just keep being who you be. Just, just keep telling the truth. Just keep walking in the truth. Just keep walking the right path. Yes. And the truth will tell off on itself. Yes. 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 You ain't got to worry about it. I'm going to find out if you tell it. The time will tell that you're telling the truth. Right. Uh, yes. And I don't know, I see seeing the saints, but I also see spiritual, secular saints. That you can't live in the world and not be a part of the world. Yeah, right. It's the hard stuff here. I want to talk first thing that he's Peter says, you got to respect the king. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you got to respect the governor. Yeah. Boy, you got quiet. I didn't yeah. be quiet. When I did my study, studying this, I don't even know. See, when I get to that part, they're going to get quiet. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you black folk and you start talking about slaves submit to your master. Right. Oh, right. Come on, right. right. We know that they don't preach in no Baptist church. No Come on, preach. Right. I wish I had a witness here. What is, what is Peter tripping on? What is he smoking? Oh. <laughs> But see, see Peter, Peter is in a different kind of environment. He's saying, he's saying, number one, we've got to respect government leaders. Yeah, yeah. Because these government leaders are ordained of God. Amen. Wow. Yeah. See, we're so busy looking at policemen who shoot black folk in the back. Yeah. You've got to, you, 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 the devil will call you to forget. There are some good police who are trying to watch out for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 The real, if you're not black, the real people who are afraid of policemen yeah. are folk who plan on breaking the law. Right. I mean, if you if you plan on doing the right thing, yeah. you ain't got you got no witness to trip on them. Yeah. Unless one of them trip. That's another sermon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's saying, he's saying, God put them in place so that since we want to do the right thing, since we are trying to live the right way, uh -huh. we don't have to worry about these officials going against us. They're on our side. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mentioned earlier about the false accusers and the false labels, but say the way to overcome that is just keep on doing right. Yeah. yeah. You gotta worry about, worry about no RJ church come to church. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about them uh, uh, saying negative stuff. Just allow them to get involved. Because he says, what you want? A false accusers must be overcome by being good and lovely. Yeah. Yeah. False accusers are overcome by being good and lovely. Y'all yeah. yeah, missed it. You overcome false accusers by being good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do good to those who treat you wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They throw a rock, you give them some bread. Mm -hmm. They throw hate, you give them some love. Yeah. yeah. 
We ought to be good and lovely. I just gave you an example of how the devil was trying to mess with me. But the Holy Ghost kept telling me you got to learn how to allow love to abound. Yep. Yeah, he got real quiet. He didn't say love when it's easy to love. He said you got to love everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody. 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 The good, the bad, and the, and the ugly. Y'all better hear me today. You can't do that on your own. You can't do that on yourself. I love everybody. You got to have some Holy Ghost in you. That's some people if God ain't in you, you can't love them. And one of my greatest commandments, commandment number one, in order to love some folk, you got to stay away from them. Wish I had a witness here. Yeah. The, the Holy Ghost can help me at that point. Paul said, when I'm weak, then I'm I strong. Yeah. There are some folk I can start praying as soon as I see them coming by. <laughs> Lord, let me walk by without. All right, man. I'm going to hear somebody. Was shot. One of them died. The other one is in critical condition. That's oh, yesterday. Yes, That's the kind of world we are living in. Yeah, Lord, oh, Lord. Lord. You don't know what's coming up, but you got to learn how to lean and depend. Oh, Lord. Lean and depend on the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, look over, look over at that 17th verse when he said, uh, honor all men. Yeah. Love the brotherhood. Yeah. Fear God and honor the king. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. We ought to be, we ought to be trying to get a love fest all up in here. Yeah. Come on. Church got to learn how to nurture some love. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sharing with them, I shared before, I, we had a, a visitor who uh, then he brought here. He happened to be white. For you folks who get nervous when I say white, mm. but I, I was I was going to another building that we used to have a little visitation period where we would be. I was running over there to get something off my desk and run back. Yeah. When I ran over there, as I left out, I saw him and some other guys congregating in the parking lot to get a smoke. I said, "Look at them! They ought to be in church." And I run as I'm working in heaven. Mm -hmm. I run to my desk. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. He said, preacher, preacher, I'm going to say something. Oh, no. <laughs> Soon as I got close to the church, he came across and preacher, I'm going to tell you, this church is the most loving church I've ever been to in all of my life. I've never seen love like I've seen it. I said, brother, thank you, thank you. I was saying thank you to him, but I was screaming thank you to the Lord. <laughs> I was screaming thank you for my visit. I was thankful that he didn't meet some of my other members. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them don't demonstrate love. We were talking about that the other day. Uh, he shared an instance where I talked about where a lady stood by the wall while we had visitors. And, and, and you know, she stood there for a long while and she finally looked at the visitor and said, You in my seat. <laughs> and the lady had to get up. And the friend she had with her got up and they started moving toward the middle of the aisle. I was right here. I know he was lying because I saw the same thing. I could read their lips and I'll never come back to this church again. Uh, Y'all better hear me then. You don't have no empty seats by accident. You work in an empty seat. When you got love shared abroad, love will attract people. Love will draw people. I said, you know, I know it's true because when my, when my guests came here to see somebody get baptized, one of, you asked for birthdays and one of my little children jumped up and I said, who is that? What they jumping up for? They're not members of the church. And mm. said, they was messed up for them. I wish I had a witness. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. I'm standing here saying, if I did business with a birthday because I'm thinking, man, here's a chance for a little kid who visited to get up and get a little money. Yeah. Yeah. That might make them want to come back again. Come on, yeah. <laughs> 
church want to come in, but see, I didn't know, but honest, but no one's to me like the folks say. Yeah. Somebody wish me, but they don't understand about that. All right. But I'm trying to tell you, you got a choice. You can demonstrate love. Yeah. 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 Stuff. Uh, yeah. Peter said we need to demonstrate the love of God. We, right, need, right, we right. need to love everybody. Yeah. You ought to treat every child like they special. Yeah. 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 You don't know who you're talking to when you're talking yeah. to children. Yeah. 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 Y'all want to jump out of y'all seat and jump and trying to go to somebody get an autograph when they're uh. the NFL or the NBA. Uh, but, but then you don't want to talk to them right when they're little children. Right? You don't know who you're talking to. You might be talking to the next president of the United States. You can talk about all that smack. You, you already judge in your mind because they come from a certain neighborhood or they dress a certain way. Self-employed. You ought to start working toward 
but being free demand that we act a certain way. Being free don't mean I got a right to try to cover up my wrong. Being free means I got to do the right thing. Come on here, somebody. And when I do the right thing, the wrong thing, I don't worry about that. I'm free enough to just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got a savior. I got somebody I can lean on. I got somebody I can depend on. And he told me I got to live a certain way. Let me close this. I'll talk been mighty good. Give me five minutes. I'm going to close. Saints on the saints. He says saints should uh, Saints should look at Jesus. Yeah. And you know what? When you study Jesus, the word he used is God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thou, thou, the yeah. uh, yeah. that, that Greek word uh, is dos. Yeah. Uh, dos. It's, 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 it means no trickery. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus wasn't the kind of guy that was practicing deception. Jesus wasn't the kind of guy that was practicing trickery. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you saw is what you got, what you received. Then there got a lot of folk who 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 claim to be children of God. Yeah. But they got all kind of deceptions. All wrapped up in it. Right. Well, I have a witness here. Yeah. If you're a child of God, you ought to be pure. Yeah. You ought to be true. Right. You not be. You know, some folks they they face look slimy. Yeah. Right. And they start talking, and they yeah. it's almost you can see the slime yeah. falling from their lips. Yeah. Right. It's like that politician. What's that boy from? Ted Cruz. The one that tried to run the Florida was doing the death of pandemic. Ted Cruz. How y'all knew who I was talking about? <laughs> Ted Cruz. Uh, he, I don't mean no harm. We, we ain't gonna put that, but we ain't gonna put that far. But just looking at him, he looks, he looks like. Yeah. I mean, he, when he opens his mouth, see like, you know, it's almost like a cartoon. I see lies, lies coming out, lies coming out. Like, like, like you used to have old Batman. That's a sin and a shame. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that little boy calling and talking about history. You, you 
you're going to repeat the same old thing because you won't do what you are obligated to do. Well, 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 I have a witness. How am I going to close this thing? Well, I'm looking at that last verse. Peter didn't leave me much. He didn't leave me much. I said, Peter, you should give me a left me hanging, boy. He says, for you were as sheep going astray. Right. But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. Uh -huh. Let me go back one verse. Who is his own self bear our, our sins, his own body on the tree, that we, being dead in sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. In other words, he said we are free, we are whole, because he did what we should have done. We are whole because he took our punishment, he took our sins on him, and with his stripes, we are healed. He, he got the punishment, we got the healing. Yeah. He got the jail time, and we got the freedom. Yeah. Yeah. But we got the freedom not to mess up and do wrong, but we got the freedom so that we can testify, oh, what a God we serve. Yeah. Yeah. With all that negative stuff people talked about, all he gave me for a climax is for we as uh, we were as sheep going astray. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, now return to the shepherd uh, and the bishop yeah. 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 of your soul. Yeah. Yeah. I need more than that. I need more than that. And then the Holy Ghost whispered, well, you need to understand Peter had an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Peter had a personal uh, experience uh, with the shepherd. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Peter had a personal experience uh, with the bishop. In my little work, and I looked up the word, uh, that word shepherd. Uh, yeah, it meant, uh, he said, well, the word shepherd means shepherd. Yeah, another word they used for shepherd was pastor. And then I looked and said, in another place, it says overseer. Yeah, It's the same word it had for that word bishop, overseer. Yeah, yeah. In other words, he is uh, the overseer of your soul. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Yes, uh, don't you worry about trying to look out for yourself. Uh, yeah. He said you can take comfort in that he is the overseer yeah. of your soul. Yeah. Uh, Y'all still on the kid. Yeah, yeah. The Bible said uh, when he came uh, off of that, uh, yes, uh, yeah, experience with the donkey. Uh, he looked down and he saw the crowd uh, and he said they were like sheep uh, without a shepherd. Uh, he said they were scattered about uh, with no direction and no meaning. Uh, but here he says uh, he is uh, the shepherd, uh, the overseer of my soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mean nothing. Like that. Oh, I said I've never been there. Said, but he was in the Holy Land and he never saw sheep without a shepherd. Uh -huh. Because a lot of times they would be gathered on a plateau. It's like a mountain with a flat top. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a certain amount of land that the sheep could graze on. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't let them just go free because they would fall off on the edge yeah. and lose their life. Yeah, yeah. So he had to have a shepherd looking out for them. Yeah, yeah. You had to have a shepherd overseeing them. Yeah. You had to have a shepherd who was caring for them. Yeah. to the lake. They call it Lake Lewis 
field. The lake is exactly one mile and a half from my house. If I walked to the lake and back, I would have walked three miles. I walk by certain sites every day. One of the sites is a man, you can't say it's a front yard. He got like a blue form and he got his house way back in the back part of his land. But every time I pass by, he got some sheep over there. And the sheep just do what sheep does. You don't have to worry about a lawnmower. The sheep keep the grass down. But he has what he calls, I guess, sheep dogs. Don't look like sheep dogs to me. One of them look like a greyhound. And the other one, he looks like Lassie. And when I walk by, they'd be way back by the house. But as soon as they see me walking on the street, they'd come up full speed to the fence as fast as they could get there. Trying to look like they wanted to get out of that fence. And I said, boy, you don't know that fence saving your life. You better leave me alone. And they run up and down on that fence. The whole time I was passing by. The brother Dickerson one day to my surprise. When I got to the lake and turned around, I saw the one that looked like Lassie. And he was out of the fence, way down the street. Over there close to the lake. When I saw him, my brother Clint I wasn't afraid because he wasn't intimidated. He was going from one person to another. And they were rubbing him on his head. They were rubbing his back. And he was just enjoying the attention. I thought he was vicious. And I thought he was mean. He said, no, he wasn't vicious. He just needed some kind treatment. to me, he was looking back and forth, and then I realized he'd been messing with so many people, he'd gotten turned around, and he'd lost his way, and he didn't know how to get home, so I said, come on, boy, and I'm walking down the street, and I'm walking down, and I'm walking down, and I'm walking down, and when I got to where he lived, he looked at me, Like sheep without a shepherd. And I'm telling you, you can't straight away. But he knows how to find you. And you are. He knows how to find you. He knows how to meet your needs. He knows how to come to your rescue. He cares because he loves you. He cares because he made a death for you. He's concerned about your soul. He has power to protect you. You are having a witness here. He has wisdom for you. And all you got to do is let the Lord have his way. Yes, it's not. 
with me and you talk with me and as long as the Lord is with me.